Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan. I'm so glad you're here today. We're going to be talking about home decor tricks that you can do to make your home look amazing. So let's get started. If you've ever looked in a home magazine or have seen all those pretty Pinterest pictures of luxurious beds, there is a few things that they have in common. And one is the duvet cover, nice and fluffy. So the trick that you can do here is to roll it down twice and it will make the bottom half of your bed look extra comfy. Then what you want to do next Next is add a blanket to the base of your bed. This will just help bring in some texture, some coziness, and really help elevate this bottom half of your bed. Next, prop your pillows up by the headboard and then add some bigger, fuller pillows in front of it. And this will give the top half of your bed that cozy look as well. You can then add some decorative pillows in that space between your first pillows and where the duvet begins. And this will just help to hide your sheets and make the bed look luxurious. It also helps if you have really nice sheets on your bed. I do love some from Bull & Branch, but I did just buy these ones from Amazon that got amazing reviews. And I do have to say they are pretty similar and I do love them. White is always fantastic on a bed. It just gives it that luxurious hotel vibe that we all really want when we walk into our bedroom. So definitely stick with some white comforters, duvet covers, and sheets. Next, we're gonna talk about some temporary fixes you can do to your home if you're waiting for a bigger renovation or just wanna change up a space without spending a lot of money. I don't know if I've shared this before, but I have painted the countertops in two of my homes now. So my current countertop here is a green laminate from like the 90s. I have had another house where I had the exact same counters and I painted them. This was a fairly simple process, a little time consuming, but definitely doable. I just used acrylic paint from Hobby Lobby. I made sure to layer it on and just kind of give it some texture to make it look like a granite countertop. Granite countertops were definitely in when I did this back in 2015, but now you can make them look like quartz and like a marble. So many fun things you can do. And you just need to make sure to seal it really good. What I would recommend is an epoxy. It's thicker, it's shiny, it's really nice. But this can just be a temporary fix either in your kitchen countertops or in a bathroom until you have the budget to actually purchase really nice countertops. I have also used a peel and stick backsplash. I have used it on a kitchen and I used it on a fireplace and both turned out really good. I don't think anybody could really tell from a distance that they were not real and doing the countertops with paint and a stick on backsplash really transformed the entire space. So these temporary fixes can be a fun DIY project. It saves you money while you're saving up for that bigger renovation and it eliminates an eyesore that may be bothering you. If you wanna start small, I definitely recommend either painting your countertops in your bathroom or just doing a temporary backsplash in a bathroom or a kitchen. Both of those are fairly simple projects that I know you can do. Our next decor trick will be helpful if you have a space that doesn't have a lot of natural light and you want to make it look bigger. And that is by adding mirrors. Mirrors are reflective. They bounce off the light from windows or artificial light like lamps that you would have in that room and they just help to make the room look bigger. Some places to add mirrors would be a living room if you don't get a lot of natural light in that room or even next to a bed above some nightstands. I know bedrooms usually don't have the best lighting so having those mirrors in there will really help brighten up the space. If you can place the mirror opposite of where a window is, then that natural light from the window will bounce off the mirror. Another benefit of having a mirror in a room is that it can act as a decor piece filling up an empty space on a wall. Another decor trick is paint. I really think paint can transform a space and honestly, you can paint anything 
walls, kitchen counters, a fireplace, the trim around your windows like I did in my back room. I added black paint to the inside of the trim in this room and I really think it transformed the space to something completely different and just gave it that little pop of color that it needed. You can paint inside and outside doors. I've even painted a kitchen table before. I think I painted more than one. I've painted end tables. Really, you can use paint anywhere and it just makes a room look so different. In our master bedroom, we had yellow walls and I've recently done a makeover on it. I am just waiting on one more piece to show you the finished space, but just even painting it made that room feel completely different. I really feel that paint can affect the mood we're in and just help us to feel cozy and warm in our own home. I have researched so much about paint over the past 12 years. I even wrote a painting ebook and I'm gonna give that to you for free. So just look in the description below for the link for that. I just recently painted my mantle. If you saw my living room makeover, I think I need to do like a final living room video for you, but it was a red wood. I didn't necessarily love it for the vibe I was going for. I made sure to think about it, but I did end up painting it tricorn black because I wanted a more contemporary modern vibe and I love how it turned out. So it just completely transformed the entire room. Wallpaper or board and batten is something else that can completely transform a space. And this doesn't have to be a permanent solution either. So peel and stick wallpaper is amazing. If you've been with me for a while, you know that I did wallpaper my front entryway and I have since taken it down. It just wasn't the style that I really wanted to go for, but somewhere where you can try this is a front entryway or maybe a half bath with doing board and batten on the bottom and wallpaper on the top. These two things can really make the room look totally different. Wallpaper and board and batten or wainscoting will just add some personality to your home and you can really create what kind of style you're going for in that space. I know board and batten sounds a little overwhelming, but you can grab some simple lattice strips from like Lowe's or Home Depot. And if you don't have a nail gun, you could use liquid nails to attach them to your wall. I did this simple one in my front entryway and it just makes it look so inviting when you first walk into my home. If you don't have flooring that you absolutely love, maybe your carpet is outdated or your vinyl flooring, you could put a rug on top of that flooring. A rug kind of takes all the attention in that room and will distract from whatever flooring is underneath it. There are some rules that go along with having a rug, like you want it to fill the space just enough that at least the front legs of your furniture are on the rug. But if you have really bad flooring in that room and you can find a rug large enough, you could cover the entire room with just one rug. A little trick, if you are putting a rug on carpet, just put a small nail in each of the four corners of the rug going into the carpet and that will keep it from moving around. Also, if you're putting the rug on top of a hard floor, it's nice to use a rug pad underneath. I just like a quarter inch thick and it will just make that rug more more soft. If you watched my recent decorating on a budget video, I talked about this a little bit, but this picture in my front room is a little bit small for the wall that it's on. I could have done something different, but a little trick, if you have something that just isn't the right size or the right height, I added a lamp to one side of the picture and greenery to the other side of the picture, and it just helps to lift your eyes up and fill in the blank space on the wall beside the picture. Your eye also attracts to those bigger, fuller pieces. So when I look at this space, I immediately see the greenery and then the lamp and then the picture. Another trick with this too is also adding decor books under things. If you have a decorative object and you need it to be elevated higher, add some decor books underneath. I also like to put candles on top of my decor books like I have right here. A rule with interior design 
design is you want to have various heights with your decor pieces. It's really pleasing to the eye. It helps everything just look like it flows together nicely. So I'm always adding decor books under objects to give that varying height effect. Another decor trick that you can use is to add shelving. Not only can you use it for storage and to fill an empty wall, but it also acts as a nice decor piece. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of what I want to do in my dining room, which is right over here. I have painted the base cabinets black. I plan on painting the countertop black. And then on top of the countertop, I want to add this shelving unit. I think I'm gonna do one on either side. I could definitely do two on either side, but it's a beautiful faux marble effect on it. Black, moody. I want to paint the wall black behind them as well. I just think it'll bring a nice modern elegance to the space. But not only are these shelving units going to look amazing on the wall, act as a decor statement piece on their own, I can also fill them with some fun decorative objects. I could put storage baskets on them that look nice to kind of hold any papers or pens or anything extra that I need to have stored, I could put it on these shelves and as long as I have a nice looking basket, it will look amazing on there. So they add extra storage to this hardworking dining room, but it's also a way that I can make the room complete by adding decor pieces on top of the shelves. Another place to do this would be in a bathroom above the toilet area. You could stack your toilet paper nice and cute, add some flowers, add some candles. It will really help the space to feel more complete. I hope you enjoyed these decor tricks. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite and talking about those shelves that I want in my dining room, I think I'm gonna go order them now because I'm ready to get that project started. I hope you have a great day and I will see you back here soon.